How do you organize your notes? Do you keep them in folders or using tags, colors, dates, etc.? Or is there a much simpler solution? And thankfully, there is. I created over 5,000 notes across multiple note taking apps, and all these notes have been effortlessly organized thanks to four different methods that you will learn now. The first one is search. You can literally search anything just like with Google, stuff like that, but in your notes instead, and then get whatever note you manage to find there that has these words. Some note-taking apps even have advanced search, so you can search within images and so forth. And the beauty is that no matter how many notes you have, with the right search, with the right query, you can always get the ones you want at any given point. The second one is using favorites. There's only a few notes, let's say 10 to 20, that you will look at somewhat regularly because they contain all the things that you need in order to live your life, so to speak. And those, you can put them right here on the sidebar, tapping the star or tapping the pin, depending on what note-taking app you're using. Then you can always go back to them and pretty much forget that you have other notes, which is pretty much the reality once you get into the game and so forth. The third one is linking and via multiple commands, like for instance, two square brackets or using the at sign and so forth, you can link notes together. Then you can follow a certain trail and go back using backlinks and so forth. Certain note-taking apps are really big at this, so you can see this amazing graph right here if you particularly like it. And the fourth one is simply using timeline, in which you see everything in terms of date modified and so forth. And before you ask why I haven't included folders and tasks yet, I just want to show you one bonus one, one bonus method, which is surprise notes. A very few note-taking apps, like for instance Mem.ai, has the capability to simply show you a random note. And if you feel you need some inspiration from your past, rather than just trying to search it, you can just see if you stumble across it and therefore give some unique boost in creativity and so forth. So why are folders and tags not needed anymore when it comes to notes? It's by the simple reason that the other four are just so much effective. When it comes to tags, you're going to search for them anyway, so if you search for that particular tag called the that, you will still generate the same outcome. And when it comes to folders, it creates this massive overhead in which you really need to make sure where each note is within the folder structure and so forth. So it makes it less convenient. If it's less convenient, then you will simply drop the note-taking practice altogether, which wouldn't really be beneficial here. You can pretty much achieve the same effect just by linking, by having one note that contains multiple notes, and voila, you just got a folder here. And even when it comes to files, I don't really use a folder structure. This is my actual downloads folder where just everything goes, because I can simply search for them here. Hopefully you've seen by now that organizing your notes is as easy as just turning on the tap and letting it flow all by itself. It's such amazing when it comes to that. I'll see you in this video right here and always remember that you're the most amazing human being alive.